Hey Threadheads, Darren here with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying Edson's Dark Tiger Bucktail. This is one of the most famous bucktails of all for trout and landlocked salmon. It's also a great fly for bass and many other species of game fish. This pattern was developed by Bill Edson in the 1920s for use in Maine. And along the way, lots of other tires have taken the pattern and sold it with their own twist on it. So as you can see, the pattern here uses this brass piece on the eye that's often referred to as an Edson eye. All right, let's get to it. Start off by putting a new hook in the vise. So the hook here I'm using is a number four. This is a Mustad signature and it's an L87 3665A which is the modern version of the Mustad 3665A. It's a nice hook. It's got a scrope bend which is type of hook that Edson called for originally in the pattern. So we'll start by tying on our yellow 6 eye uni thread right at the head of the fly. We're going to tie in a piece of number 10 uni mylar. We're going to tie that with the silver side facing up. Don't need uh, close touching turns here. Just going to tie that down to the tip of the hook and then we're going to wind the tinsel so that the gold side faces out. And this is going to be the tag of our fly. And we'll trim that off. So next we're going to tie in a tail. Originally the pattern called for two hackle tips. So take two hackle tips, face them back to back, tie them in like that. But I prefer to tie just a straight hackle fiber tail. So in this case I'm using Schloppen. And I'm just going to take a section off. Make sure you line the tips up. I'm just going to extend that slightly back over the hook bend. Tie that in with some loose wraps and then go forward. Clean that up. And we'll snug it over top of the tag. Make sure that that sits on top of the hook shank. So next we're going to run the thread back up to the eye. I've got some small yellow chenille and I'm going to tie it in along the top of the hook shank. This helps keep the fly uh, uniform along the length of the body. So you wind back up to the head. I'm just going to put a half hitch on at the head. And because I'm using a rotary vise, I'm going to wind this. So you just want to make sure that you advance your chenille with every wrap. If you don't have a rotary vise, that's okay. You can just do hand over hand. There. We're going to catch that up at the eye. So next I like to tie in the wing.
So for the wing, I'm using a yellow bucktail. But the part of the yellow bucktail that this pattern calls for is the section that's originally brown. So brown dyed yellow. Gives it a nice mottled look to the wing. Almost looks a little bit like squirrel tail. So I'll cut out a section of that. So here's a section. I got a little bit of the white dyed yellow. So I'm going to first pull out some of the shorter hairs out of the bottom. And then I'm going to just line up those hairs in my hand, just even them out a little bit. And I'll mix in those regular regular yellow ones in with the brown dyed yellow. Yeah, so we're just going to measure this to the bend of the hook. And cut off the tag ends. You want to have a, a pinch wrap. You want to make sure you secure it down tighter near the throat and then a little less tension out here until you get it secured in well. Just want to give a pull through the wing, make sure there's nothing loose in there. All right, next we're going to turn our fly upside down. If you don't have a rotary vise, you can just take the vise, the, take the hook out of the vise and turn it upside down. I'm going to take a little bit of red schlop in. Again, we're just going to match up some of the tips. And we'll just tie this on, on the underside as a throat. I like to just use my thumb to kind of spread that over a bit. Again, on the original pattern, this would have been two hackle tips tied back to back. Just trim that off. Next, we're going to use the signature heads and eyes. Put the eyes on this fly. As you can see, these are just little brass uh, stamped plates. So if you want to Get some of these for yourself. I'll put a link in the description. So what we do, so I'm going to take each one. You can use your scissors to cut this down, but I don't want to dull my scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that on a bit of an angle. Using some wire cutters. And then I'll tie that in just a wrap or two. And then I'll take the other one and I'm going to put a bit of a bias on where I cut that as well just so it slopes towards the lower part of the, the head. So get that positioned. And if you don't have the the brass eyes, you can use a small jungle cock nail. Well, that'll work just as good. All right, so this does tend to bulk up your head a little bit, but a little bit of practice, and they're not too too bad. There you go. That's the. Edson Dark Tiger, which if you put that beside the light tiger, you might wonder why this wouldn't be the light version, but I do believe it's the wing color that makes the big difference. So this is a dark wing, whereas the other one has a bright yellow wing. There you go.